video we're going to talk about the neck index technique. Now the next neck index technique is something that you probably have seen a lot of uh, police officers use maybe in an episode on cops, maybe in TV shows where they're actually you know taught you know to do things the way uh, police are taught to make it a little more realistic or whatever be a little more accurate. Um, this is something that uh, you know was developed for uh, it, not developed for, but it's used a lot by law enforcement. You know, the old mag lights that they had, they would basically just hold it up here and search around and stuff. Well, the neck index, I find to be a very good administrative technique, like say, um, you know, for your handheld light, it's for utility purposes uh, primarily. Uh, if you have a weapon mounted light, this obviously can't take a weapon mounted light, it has no rail. But, you know, if you're just out there and you're just searching, you're going to your vehicle, searching the parking lot, you see something, nothing wrong with, you know, going over there and uh, seeing something go on and you uh, hold it up like this, keeps the light out of the, out of the way, you're not up here where you're going to get a little bit in your eye or anything like that. It's nice and rested, especially if it's a heavier light. Uh, so you're just you can just uh, scan around and you can index it off your neck and it's aligned right to where your face is pointing, and that's very convenient. So I like I like this for very quick responses and something like you know if you're dealing with something uh, you can draw very quick and take care of a very close range threat or something like that. You don't need to move move it. There's no real coordination uh, with this hand and this hand. Like if you're searching around and you've got your uh, weapon at the ready, like say in your house, uh, it's not really the best uh, for searching uh, and uh, clearing or anything like that. But you know, if you needed to, if it was just something around, you know, say this flag, I've got like two or three feet behind this flag for the wall, and I'm searching around. I'm at least, I'm clearing around the left side, so at least it's on the left side of where the where the gun is. So basically my light's going in first, and I'm able to, you know, clear and have my gun ready if I need to clear around a barrier or something. It's not the best because you have obviously no support. It's not like uh, some of the other ones where you're at least somewhat touching, uh, touching the pistol. This is a completely unsupported shooting. Uh, you know, technique. So basically, it's more for, in in my opinion, it's more for uh, what would lead into drawing the pistol and taking care of work or something that's very quick, very, more administrative than anything. Now, it, it it's not really a, a bad technique to have. Like I said, you know, it's very popular for law enforcement to have it right below their head, their head level. So if they can see it, they have a clear view. You're able to see 100%. There's nothing really in the way, even if you have your weapon down, it's out of the way. But once you bring your weapon up, you will notice that there is a silhouette here uh, from the gun right here. So you're going to have a little bit of a silhouette. Some people don't like silhouettes with when it comes to white light. So I, I personally don't have a problem with it. Now, this isn't an instructional video or anything like that, but... Uh, I don't really have a problem with uh, silhouetting when I'm pulling out a white light. Typically, I'm dominating with a high amount of lumens. So, typically, if anybody gets this flashed in their eyes, um, it's going to be a little bit overwhelming for them. So, <clears throat> I know it is for, for me. Like, if I, if I get flashed with something like this, uh, just fooling around, I've had, this, uh, had lights like this flashed uh, in my eyes, and it completely whited out everything. So, it's not like I was... Uh, getting flashed and then I looked and it's like, oh, I can see the silhouette of a gun. And uh, that's probably the uh, uh, the least of my concerns is looking around to see if I can see a silhouette or whatever on the on the other, on behind me or whatever. But anyways, off that soapbox. Um, the one cool thing about this is uh, that if you are, you know, using this for searching or whatever, uh, you can actually get a little flash off of your sights. And I don't have any night sights on this. Uh, Sky pistols don't really have night sights available for them. So um, you basically have white dot sights. But even so, like if you're using a white light and you're using a pistol, you're going to get a silhouette anyways. But it's really nice to actually be able to see the dots because that helps it line it up a little quicker. So yeah, you get a little bit of that if you're aiming in. 
and you're just having it stand by outside of the hotspot if you're using the hotspot for searching or whatever. Our areas are typically drawn to the hotspot because the more lumens, the more information we're able to process, the faster we're able to process it, etc. So anyways, um, there's advantages and disadvantages to this technique. But it's more administrative in, uh, in my uh, opinion, but uh, maybe some range work or maybe uh, you hear a bump in the night. I, I don't know if I would really be sitting there like searching around. Maybe if I was outside and uh, you know the wind's blowing, but there might be somebody out there. It's like just having the pistol out. I've actually done this before because um, of the neighborhood I live in. Just going out there, having my pistol out there kind of like uh, in this position and I'm just searching and uh, like if there's anything out there and you just snap to it and you've got your sights aligned and you're good to go you can you still have clear visibility of your target clear visibility of what's around it and it illuminates uh, those sights uh, you're able to see where the dots are aligned is a lot quicker than trying to line up a silhouette so <clears throat> it's not really too bad uh, but it's not the best technique out there, but uh, for a wide variety of things, it's got a pretty narrow application. It's more in the administrative side from my experience, but it's not a bad technique. But if you want to know how to uh, use these things and get more versatile with it, uh, you know, uh, be able to use it in more uh, circumstances than, than I know how to, seek training on it. I'm continuing my training on, uh, you know, low light shooting and, uh, you know, I recommend that everybody else does this. It wasn't. This isn't an instructional video. It's just discussing my experience with these little uh, techniques and uh, talking about what I've seen the uses, uh, what what's good and bad about them. So definitely practice, get some training, and hope to see you guys in future videos talking about low light techniques and other things. All right, you guys have a good one.